Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Alan Wake, or Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I temporarily paused there for a moment. So, at the end of last episode, we actually progressed to the point where we were facing off against, against Mr. Scratch, but then we got sent back to the beginning of the game. Uh, I presume this is going to still be continuing a story, because there's still some new fa um, new stuff around here. So, uh, let's go on forward and see if there's any changes. Uh, the Spectre. In Bright Falls, I was constantly under attack by birds that were more shadow than flesh and feathers. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to escape my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. Oh, okay. Sure. Give me that. Nice. I'm pretty good with my ammo right now, though, so I'm pretty confident, as is. I'll take that. Alright, so I guess this is just going to take me back out to the first first area, except spiders are a thing now. Okay, good. Wonderful. Oh yeah, we're back out here. But I already... Oh, not birds again. <laughs> Fair. Uh, but did we not? Oh, hello. Actually. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, you dodged it. Hello. You're different. Okay. So, this is the area where we sent down the, uh, the meteor, or not meteor, the satellite last time. Um. But everything seems to be hunky dory at the moment. Okay. Talk to Emma. Uh, I will do that after I pick up this... After I pick up this uh, manuscript page. I know there's one around here. Oh, hello. There you are. The appearance of Mr. Scratch. I'm trapped in the darkness. He has started appearing to me. Mr. Scratch. He can travel back into the world effortlessly, and he loves to rub my face in it. At first, he was just an echo in the darkness, a flicker beyond the edge of my vision. Now he started showing himself, getting bolder all the time, telling me what a great time he's having in the world while I'm stuck here, and what he plans to do, especially to Alice. All the moves I have left are dangerous and desperate. I have no choice. I have to hunt him. Well, we know he's t he's been tormenting her, at least in control, because uh, he appears in her hallway or whatever and runs at her. And then you see that horrifying photograph that she takes. So we do know that's a thing, but... Uh... Okay. Hello? Nope. Okay, they can take two shots from this. They're quite strong. Come on. Easy enough. Pretty straightforward, actually. Manuscript page over here somewhere. I see it. I would like to have it. I cannot climb things, apparently. At least not not, uh, not in this game. I could climb over it in Alan Wake 1. But that's fine. Uh, let me grab some more ammo, and then I will deal with any potential enemies. I pretty much, I pretty like, uh, pretty much like the crossbow as, as is right now, so I'm good. Uh, my best friend. I don't make friends easily. I know plenty of people, but I don't let most of them close. I've known Barry Wheeler ever since we were little boys. We had the time of our lives. I'd get us in trouble, and he'd talk us out of it. Things haven't changed that much now that we're grown-ups. He's the most loyal and dependable person I've ever met. And all the things that count, anyway. You could call him a weasel, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. You could call him a clown, and I would reluctantly agree. But he has never let me down. Another rhyme. You are becoming a poet, sir. You should probably tell Barry these things once you meet up with him in the real world. You know? Because I feel like he never really felt that appreciated in Alan Wake 1, so... It would be nice if you kind of made it clear to him that you do appreciate his time and his loyalty. 
I get the feeling I'm gonna have to come back out here anyway, so let's just talk to Emma now. And I'll deal with whatever afterwards. SMG. I don't need that right now. I'm good. Emma? You here? Uh, do I still have the keys from last time or not? Okay, people. It's Eddie Rodman here with a few hours to kill. And there's nobody I'd rather spend. That's a no. Okay. Nobody else in the whole world. <laughs> oh, boy. That'll land me in hot water when I get back home, won't it? Well, just in case my wife is listening. And you always are, aren't you, baby? Let me tell you. You are the exception, honey. And the prettiest lady I ever saw at a boot. But I'd really like to spend some quality time with you listeners, because, you know, tonight's one of those nights. You're sitting in the studio and you kind of forget how long it's been or what day it is. You just sit here and go through the motions. You might as well have been here forever. You keep talking, but you don't even know what you're saying. It's like you're on automatic. You can't stop the ride and get off. It's times like these that I really wish that somebody had just called in and relieved my boredom. How about it? Anybody? Come on now, help a fella out. Our lines are open. Was that it? Alright, well that was it. I guess he's not interviewing uh, Barry and the old gods anymore. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing on the map multiple uh, manuscript pages, so I do kind of want to run around and grab them. Should be one around here. Hello. Which one are you? Night Springs, the cult TV show. Night Springs doesn't exist. I knew it. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was Any Place USA, a place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the herald of darkness. It was something I'd written back in the real world, something I had a link to, a framework I could build on. I had adapted it into a new story. This story. Okay. Uh, any new messages from Mr. Scratch? Okay. So this oh, that's not good. That's not good. I know. They all say that, right? And she's giving me the eye. So I make a couple of moves. We have a couple of drinks. And then things start happening. But I say I have to go to the bathroom first. Uh-oh, right? Is she alive She's or dead at this? No well, she idea. moved. Yeah, she moved. Watch this. This is going to be priceless. I don't think I want to watch this. This is going to be bad. Uh-oh. How can she not know you're there? Mm. Mm, that's nice. I thought you'd like that. Are you tense? You feel a little tense. Maybe a little. I had a crappy day. Yeah? Don't worry. It's improving real fast. Yeah. Are you gonna choke her out or snap her neck? Or shoot her in the- Oh no, that's not good. They're gonna censor it. Watch this. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah! Did you see that? Oh man! Did you see her? Boom! That's pretty unrealistic for a neck slit, but sure, okay. Not the point here. So this is happening out in the real world then, presumably. He's doing a lot of serial killing in the hotel, I'll say that, or motel, I'll say that. He's basically doing the whole, um, psycho, well, I mean, they did do the psycho song, but... What was the character's name? Pa pa Patrick Bateman, or something like that? Anyway, he's pulling that off. 
Now Night Springs is in Arizona, although not for long. It's in Arizona because whatever the town that has become Night Springs is really called is located near one of the thin, worn places in the world where dreams and reality flow together and life is always a little strange. Perfect analogy for Night Springs. I can't return to the real world, I've tried, but I'm operating on dream logic, forcing the door open a crack so I can slip through. I can enter the strange little town of Night Springs. All I did was put in in Arizona for one night. Okay, sure. I mean, it isn't a real location, so I guess it makes sense that you can kind of just base it on wherever the setting requires it to be, because it's a TV show, and things don't have to be consistent in a TV show. Uh, ammo? Oh, right. Hello. Magnum. I'll go for it. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so, uh... Let's quickly run back over here and see if Emma's chillin'. Last time I was here, she died, right? So... I don't need any more of that. Um, I'm also pretty sure there was another... I guess it's inside. Yeah, because there's... The mini-map is telling me there's another... Mini-map is telling me there's another, um... Another manuscript page around here, but I don't see a way in. That's unmodeled inside, so clearly I won't be going in there. Yeah, okay, so it's in there somewhere and I can't go in right now. Uh, Emma, are you? Oh, hey, you are here. Just give me a minute, will ya? I want to get my, uh, my ammo up. Hello there. Wow, it is you. I, I guess all of it really happened. You remember me. Kind of. I felt weird all day, like I could almost remember a dream I had, and then, just before sunset, I remembered the page. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get those things again. Not all of them. I... I went out and got them. Well, most of them. I felt stupid at first, but then it was getting dark, and those... those things started showing up, and one of them made off with the battery. It ran into the railroad tunnel. There was no way I was gonna follow him in there. Sorry. That's okay. It's good you didn't. You should be careful. I mean, really careful. Yeah, I, I kind of remember something. Something bad happened to me, didn't it? Yes. Forget it. It doesn't have to happen again, okay? Just do what I say. Yeah, okay. God, this is too weird. Am I going Oop. crazy here? Just go get that battery. So, are we... Yeah, this is a time Try loop. Try to stay calm. You're perfectly sane. We're caught in a time loop. That's why this is happening again. I, I believe you. God, I feel like I might just lose it any second now. How come you're not freaking out over this? Because on my personal weird shit meter this just doesn't rate. Look, I know something happened to me before. You're gonna be okay if you just keep cool, okay? Thanks for getting this stuff for me. It's a big help. Seriously, you're saving so. me some time here. Are you gonna make everything blow up at the oil field again? Possibly. Have to. Well, Looks like a yes. the hell else you might be, at least you're not boring. Well, I'm glad you're okay for now. Sorry, my brain looked at this and went like, I can loot this. Uh, too much prey on my mind. Alrighty then. Just the battery. That'll save time. That is true. However, that means that I don't have to necessarily go to the diner. And I do want to see what's at the diner, so... Because we've already established that there are new uh, manuscript pages. So if I don't come over here, I'm going to regret it, I feel. Although I don't know if I can actually go inside this time, like without without the key. All right, I'm already full on ammo. Never mind. Oh, there is a manuscript page. Hello, Emma Sloane. With all the herbs, crystals, and the rest of her new age paraphernalia, Emma Sloane had been called a hippie and a freak and worse. It was that small town mentality. She was a female mechanic. And even in 2011, there were always going to be backward shit kickers who thought that was a hoot. 2011, oh dear. She could deal. She could take any engine apart, even the new ones with all the computers in them. Turned out that these boys were awful polite while waiting for her to put them back together. Okay. Yeah, because, um... These small town yokels, I guess. <laughs> Mm 
Hmm. Okay, so I'll see if there's any reason for me to come back out here later. Hello. Goodbye. Next. Easy enough. But yeah, uh, 2011, he says. I guess this would have come out around then, right? 2010-ish. I guess 2011 makes sense. Um... Okay. Let's see if there's anything back here. By the trucks. I'm not seeing anything on the mini-map right now, so I think I'm okay. It's funny how I never use the flares or anything. What about the train station thing here? I'd be very surprised if there was nothing out here. That sounds like a rattler snake, which is not good. Still haven't had a reason to go in there yet. Alright, fine. Fine, okay, nothing here. So now I can actually go into that um, that mining tunnel that I tried going into uh, last time I was here. Oops. Hello. And if memory serves, it's just up ahead. I'm trying my best to find the battery, I promise. Yeah, so this was not accessible uh, the last time I was here, so... Good to see new areas open up. I guess that's kind of where the repetition will take us. Well, this should be perfectly safe. Oh yeah, seems legit. Also, spiders. I saw spider webs. I'm seeing spider webs. I'm hearing spiders. Maybe a smaller weapon, then, if I'm gonna get jumped. Actually, no. Um, my flashlight is enough to deal with spiders. Probably down there. This seems perfectly safe and reasonable. Hello! Okay. Now I just need her to charge this up. Oh! Oi, none of that, sir. I do like that I can just shoot him. Okay. Fine. I still get out of here. Yeah, I can just run right out of the cave. Uh-oh. Or maybe not. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I can deal with that. I can deal with that if you would let me zoom out, game. That's easy. Simple enough. I'm glad that none of them came up from behind me, though. Oh. Okay, fine. Nice. I think we're done here. Easy. Never mind. Okay. Can I please just make it back to the gas station? Run faster, Alan. I need you to really sprint for it. I say that, but, you know, it's not entirely true. Nice. Oh no, this seems deceptively easy. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on Nightmare difficulty, but, hmm. Uh, give me a sec, Emma. I'm back. Found the battery. Okay, I'll charge it. Here. Try not to get killed. I'll do my best. Okay. I'm gonna take care of this. Try to stay calm. 
Look, what if I just... What if you stay here with me, please? I'm sorry, but if I don't deal with this, no one else will. Ugh, yeah, I guess. It's just that this is getting really creepy. I believe this is real, but I don't understand any of it. I'm getting scared. I, I can't believe you're so calm. I get scared, but I've had a lot of time to get used to it. That helps. Uh, the guy who looks like me is behind this. The guy who looks like me is the reason this is happening. I caught up with him, but he swept me back here. Back in time? Yeah, it's a trap. We'll be doing this forever unless I can break out of it. How are you gonna do that? I'm working on it. I came prepared, but things got kind of scrambled when I arrived. I'm tracking down the things I need. Yeah, well, feel free to climb back into your DeLorean or whatever it is you do. <laughs> uh, Emma, last time I was here, you died because this thing, uh, your light broke. So maybe consider getting some more lights while you are still safe for the time being. Also some flashlights. Or, you know, maybe brighten these lights. Or something. Although... Now that I think about it, the darkness are able to attack me out here, even with these lights on, so... Still, though, you know? Try... Tr try to keep yourself safe. I'm really hoping that the auto... Oh, sorry, the, uh, the copyrighted music isn't going to play again when I, um, when I activate this, uh, oil field, but... I guess I'll find out. Hello. That's way faster than the uh, the crossbow thing. Because he gets staggered. Whereas with the crossbow, I shoot him once, he gets staggered, and then... And then he does the whole bird thing, so... Which wastes my time. The crossbow does more damage, but it saves me time to shoot him with the magnum. Now this, though... Oh. Whoa! Alright, fine. What the? Ow. Alright. Whatever gets the job go, done. Man. Better get ready to run. Uh-huh. Can you maybe turn off the copyrighted music this time as well, though? Please? Yes, yes, I know. You don't need to do that every single time. Alright. I'll leave the music for last. Still not gonna save me. I'm still gonna have to mute it, but it is what it is. All right, here we go. Time to satellite again. Yep, there it goes. We've already seen this. I wonder if it's going to be the same cutscene every time. It kind of feels like it is. Bam. And then I'm going to just have to talk over it again. I don't really know how effective, like, the muting thing is, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Alright, time to go. Time to dip. Run, 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 run. Uh, last time I was here, I didn't get jumped by these guys. You know what? I haven't fired one of these ever. Goodbye. Alright. Whoa, hey. Why are you? Why are you right in front of me? Goodbye. And, uh, oh. Nope. Come on, you're making me look like a fool here. There you go. Alright. How wonderful. Better hurry. Yeah, wasn't she getting attacked last time I was here? She wasn't dead yet. She doesn't die till later, I think, but... All right, I'll attack whatever's over here. Emma, coming. Yep. You're not entirely wrong. Oh, this isn't. Yeah, this isn't really what happened to you last time. 
It has yet to happen. Oh, I see. The lights are actually burned out while this is happening. Just keep your head down. I'm trying to get an achievement, and I'm just wasting these. How? Okay, well, no achievement for me. That's fine. I wasted a bunch of shots. But that's okay. Oh, nice. Alright. Well, I got the achievement anyway, I think. Nice. I was like, I could hear some movement. Alright. Um, sure wish I didn't waste all my flare gun ammo, okay. but to be fair, I've basically never used any of it anyway, and this game is a lot easier than I was expecting, so... I got a really bad feeling about all of this. You're not wrong. those keys to the diner now. There's a motel key there that I have to get. Oh, hey, you don't have to do that. I have the motel master key. I work for the same company, you know. Um, what's at the motel? Well, a dead body. There's a dead guy. He's got something I need to get into the Mount Redtooth Observatory. God, that's awful. Hey, um, you wanted to know about the guy who looked like you, didn't you? Yes. The last time you said he had a party, and, but you didn't go. I, no, that's not true. I did go. It was really great at first, and, and then I didn't see it myself, but I hear he turned nasty. He hurt a bunch of guys pretty bad, and there was this girl, he, she died. But I didn't hear about that until afterwards. I thought that he was so charming. And then he went to the diner. That's, that's right. I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved with that at all. I don't know what happened. Fine. I need to check out these motel rooms. In the meantime, you stay here, okay? I'm serious. Keep the lights on and stay here. Yeah, okay. You got it. I sure hope you're right about this. Um, stay here this stay time. Stay here this time, right? Because the last time I didn't, and that thing, whatever it is, happened to me. Yeah. I don't want you to get hurt again. Don't worry, I'm gonna stay put. I don't remember what happened exactly, but I learned my lesson. You know what's funny? It doesn't have to happen exactly the same way this time around. You improved that much when you went out and got those things for me. I think you're gonna be okay. Let's hope you're right. The funny thing is, last time she didn't even exit this, uh, <laughs> it didn't exit the garage, the garage either. Last time, the lights just went out while she was in here. Um, yeah, so I'm confused now. So, the party happened, the girl died, and she knows about it. So, the things that were happening on the TV screen, were they in night like in this story as well then, and not, not in the real world? I'm not 100% sure like how this is all happening all at once, but it's fine. Uh. Oh, God. Uh, sorry, Emma. I, I, I couldn't protect you again. But this time, I can check the other doors. So that's good for me, right? Let me in here again. Anything good in here? Doesn't look like it, but I'll take the ammo. There's no TV in here, strangely enough. You'd imagine they would have one. Based on how the chairs are, the tables are all, you know arranged or the chairs are arranged um where is this page it's in this it's in this house is it not can i unlock this then with my keys i have the master keys right no oh there you go perfect Wake's friends. Alice and Barry, my wife and my best friend, are easily the two most important people in my life. And they've never really gotten along with each other. I suppose both of them resent the other's intrusions into what they consider their domain. After I was gone, they maintained an uneasy truce. My book stayed in print, still selling. The licensing machine churned away. She was my wife and controlled the intellectual property. He was my agent and took care of the business. I wish they found more common ground than that. I mean, it is what it is, right? Like, you can't force everyone to get along. 
The point is, their lives were made better by knowing you, right? You have to take some solace in that. Also, I'm totally lost. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. I've already unlocked this door, I know. Not this door. Not this one. I don't remember which room it was. Don't think it's this. Yeah, I don't remember which room it was. It's in here somewhere, though. Oh, it's this one. Yep. Can I try this door, though? It is lit up. Oh, it's not lit up. Never mind. Alright, I guess it's time to go to the observatory again. Hello, dead man. Thank you. Found a dip. It's said that nobody knows what the future might bring, but for this man, it's no longer entirely true. A weaker man might simply give up, but the champion of light is an expert on destiny. Sometimes the puppet and puppeteer can be one and the same. Are we gonna watch the same cutscene of me dr uh, of Alan like driving over there again? It's basically the same cutscene. There's not even like voiceover dialogue over this. Yes, I know we're back. Red tooth. Its top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the champion of light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. All right, we're doing this again. Welcome back to Mount Redtooth National Observatory. I am probably going to wield this crossbow forever. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. True. Better find Dr. Meadow's car. That's what it can be. Yeah, but I'm about to get jumped by Rent. No, no, no. This happened last time, too. Okay. That's fine. Oh, praise me. You guys are coming through for me. A pretty little light just started blinking on my board here. Uh, and that means there's a Rude. Rude. Very rude. What the hell? Ow. I need to get out of this room. Ow. Oh boy. I can't listen to this at all. I should kill myself, and then, uh, no, come on, kill me, so I can re-listen to it. Uh, hello? Can you, can you kill me faster? Alright, go! They killed me so slowly that I had to actually just jump off a cliff. It's top lit. All right, I cannot skip this dialogue. Eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Tonight, the champion of light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. Okay, let's uh, let's relive that then. And this time, I'm not actually going to activate the uh, the radio until until itself, I kill everything. The man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. All right, come on. That's where the camera should be. Come on, I know you are spawning in. Uh oh. Nice. Okay, uh, I did also see this while I was here. Spiders? Let me read this. New reality, fragment one. The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged. Almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt cool and refreshing this late at night. 
It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. Okay. I thought I heard the spiders, but it's fine. Uh, there's another page over here as well. Somewhere around here. Tumbleweed. Funny. Thank you. Dr. Meadows. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky above her was too fascinating. Uh, now that I think about it, is this all related? She was at a party, and of course everyone's talking about, like, Emma was talking about the party, Mr. Scratch was at a party where he killed someone. It's probably the same party. Michael might be the dead guy who is at, um, who is in the motel. Possibly. Assuming they decide to link absolutely everything together. I'm piecing it together, or I'm trying to. I could be entirely wrong as well, but you know. Alright, let's listen to that radio call. Without being jumped this time. Oh, praise be. You guys are coming through for me. A pretty little light just started blinking on my board here. And that means there's a caller out there. You know when the hours stretch into eternity like this, when it feels like I'm stuck in a rut and just reliving the same endless night over and over again. <laughs> That's appropriate, yes. I'm genuinely touched by someone actually reaching out to me, breaking the monotony. I just want you to know that it really matters to me. Caller, you're on the air. You suck, Eddie! Uh, <clears throat> uh, did you know that uh, this is my dream job? True fact. Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay. I didn't really miss much, but fair enough. Um, alright, I'm gonna run in a full circle around again then. Although, in theory, I could actually get the imaging array now, and then loop around um, counterclockwise. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just in case it gives me more objectives to come back out here. Just in case. Anyone else? Dodged. What is this? Hunting rifle. Uh, I really like my crossbow though. I'll open it, but I don't need it. Can I go around the back here? No. I did see a, uh, a manuscript page though. Here you are. Cosmological truths. There are places where our world is worn thin, and another reality brushes against ours. One such site Well, is those are thresholds from control, yes. Washington, but there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how... You can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. Yeah, thresholds from control. Um, pretty sure her car is back here, right? Oh no, maybe not. Uh, oh no, this is her car. It is a little different from last time, though. Gimme. The darkness. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. Yep, stuff that we already know. Let me grab this item now. Nice. Um, I'll return to the telescope after running counterclockwise. I'm sure I'm about to get jumped. I can smell it. I can hear it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Back off. Okay.
Goodbye. Easy enough. I'll run around this. I don't want it to despawn and I don't need it right now. Do I have to close the valves again too? I guess I might. They might send me back out here for the valves. Visitor parking. Yeah, wasn't her car back here last time? Yeah, it was. So what changed on this run? Maybe I'll be able to enter this building this time. Hmm. Weren't there spiders here as well? Yeah, there were. Okay. I'm like just remembering from the last last time we were doing this. Okay, here come some more enemies. Come on. Jump down here. Back off. Oh, nice. It flew into the... <laughs> okay, that worked pretty well, actually. Uh, the nature of stories. Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. That's fair. That's a good, you know, that's not a bad uh, way to look at it. It's very true. People are influenced easily by the media they consume. Um, alright, well, there's another... I don't have the manuscript pages for this, apparently. Which one is this? The Taken! The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. <laughs> throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. Very true. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Mm-hmm. Mm. If memory serves, I have to go down there anyway for, um, in order to deal with the valves, but quickly run around the building. Don't say anything on this side. Ammo's down there. Okay, I've done the circle. Uh, I think I am still going to check it out first, just in case I don't end up having to go back out there again. Um... And then I will come back. Ow, the fall damage, though. You really can't fall that much of a distance, can you? Oh, yeah, this is where it threw stuff at me. Uh, the darkness. I remember. But, yeah, Mr. Wake is not the most uh, athletic person in the world, certainly. All right. I mean, neither am I, but I feel like I could, you know, fall a little further than that without taking damage. Lost in the dark place. After my disappearance, they thought I was dead. I might as well have been. I know it's been two years. I know Alice has moved on. I've tried to find a way back to her, back to my life, but escaping the dark place is almost impossible. Time does strange things here, but dreams and radio signals can pierce the veil between the worlds. I catch glimpses and echoes of the world. Sometimes I send messages out. I can only pray that they hear them. Yeah, I hope so too. But it's fine. Ten year or eight years from now, uh, actually, maybe ten years from now, um, Alan Wake 2 will come out and you might actually make your way out of there. So, we will see how it goes in October. And, of course, I will happily play Alan Wake 2 once it comes out later this year. Okay, another Grenadier. And the timing of it being in October is pretty good as well, because I'll be, what, like, a month after Starfield? So I won't feel as, uh, how do I put it? As obligated to spend, like, 100% of my time in Starfield. I am going to play the shit out of that game, obviously, so. At any rate, that's kind of derailing the point of this, this playthrough, so. Anyway. 
What I'm saying basically is when Alan Wake 2 comes out, I will play it. And that's all. Let me in, please, Dr. Meadows. How dare you? No, wait. It isn't you, is it? I... I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I'll unlock the door. Thank you. Thanks. Can I go in the bathroom this time? Nope. Alrighty then. Oh. TV screen. I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. Oh, good. Like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one now. If Is that like suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm looking at that. I'm like, is that style. it's like a shaver? Now this is more like it. Switchblade. You've got slip resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. Combat it's knife? Too, big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. Uh-huh. If you're talking intimidation, this is going to do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. Is that a screwdriver? Ah, uh, duct tape. I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Okay, now guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with... Is that like a power right drill on the left there? Okay. I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? No, I suppose not. Alrighty then. Thanks for that. Hello, Doctor. You have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. Well, your you're not wrong. Doctor. I... Alright, uh, let's get in the floor. Oh, you don't want to talk to me first? Okay, fine. I guess you don't want to talk to me yet. Let's do it. I think we can give this a go. Although I have this strange feeling that something Don't will go start wrong. it up yet. There's a problem with the cooling system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? It is indeed. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. I've got your back. No worries, I'm happy to explain. And you didn't actually die last time. So I hope that you will stay alive this time as well. Hooah! I don't quite know what's going on, but I seem to remember having had this encounter before. We did indeed. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time loop. That's utterly insane. How could that be? I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Neither do I. But I can't argue with what I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it. I need the rest of it. Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. All right. I realize you have trouble believing this. I realize that you have trouble believing this. That's an understatement. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. Fair. But it's not just you. 
I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that prove something, at least? A little. Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance, and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. Also fair. I'm not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. I empathize with you. What it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. Sure, but you have to stop second-guessing yourself at some point if you want to get something done. Fair enough. All right. Secure the primary pipes. On it. Hmm. So I guess I'm not going to get jumped for right now. I'm just going to get jumped later. Come on. Alright, time to get jumped. We know it's going to happen. It's over here, isn't it? For a moment, for a moment, I was gonna be like, "You're not gonna, you're not gonna make me like climb all that, right?" Because <laughs> I see some valves at the very top of those, but no, I don't think. Oh, what the? Okay. Hmm. Hello. Hello, big guy. Goodbye, big guy. Nice. Oh, grenades. Well, I mean, I think they're all spawned behind me and none are in front of me, so I'm pretty happy with where I am. Nope. Don't think I can shoot him, though. But if I stay far enough away, it's not like he can really follow me, so... It is what it is. Oh, I, I guess I missed it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd he go? Oh crap. Goodbye. Okay, so the pipe is in here this time. Okay. I mean, at least it is funneling me into different locations. These beings hate the light, am I correct? Correct. You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. I have my doubts on how effective this will be, Doctor, but sure. I think we're good to go. All right. I'll start looking for the signal. Please head back. Okay. Um What? Is it going to make me go the long way around? Is that about to attack me? It is. Okay. I mean, that's fine. That's okay. I guess they didn't like that. Oh, okay. All right, never mind. I thought it was gonna keep flying at me, but no such no such luck. Oh, that would be bad. Yep, that would have been bad. You're gonna throw this at me? Nope. I think I should just run. Yes, running sounds like a very nice option right now. You're gonna break all of them, that's pretty standard horror trope. It's fine. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Reload, and I'm ready to go. Alright, um... I could use more ammo, actually. Another enemy just spawned. Oh, hello. Oh, he hit behind a pillar. How could you? Really? Okay.
Get over here. And I see you. Okay, he's over here. Alright. Well, that was fun. Um, I think I've already cleared... Well, I don't see any more... Um, what was the word I'm looking for? I haven't seen any more uh, signs of manuscript pages, so I'm just going to have to roll with it. Let me back in. I'm just going to have to assume I've gotten everything I can at this point right now. That doesn't sound good. Or is it just the the observatory um, telescope moving? I think that's what's happening. It's working. Please, come up here. Will do. It is awfully dark in here, though, so I'm assuming we're going to get jumped. Alright, Doc. Let's chat. Find oh. Yes. I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. I don't mind. What's, What's on your mind? mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing, provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Why is that? Yes, I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light. And I managed to contain it and free my wife. But I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Anything Is there else? Anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, rewrite reality. Change things. That's absurd. But it works. Assuming I believe this, why don't you simply, I don't know, write yourself some superpowers? It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Often what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. Yep, any loopholes. Do you believe in this? Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. But this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. In a way, Even yes. Even the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, it's more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's alright to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions, and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be hangry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. Hmm. There's also the fact that, you know, this is probably all not real. I mean, it's real to you, obviously. But, you know, I'm, I'm still in the dark place, clearly. And this is a story within a story within a story. So, yeah. Another printout. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete. But it's another piece of the weapon 
he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. I guess it's back to the drive-thru then. Night Springs Drive-In Theater. Oh, we're back. The last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. Very true. Right, well, let's take a look. Let's find all of the new manuscript pages. I see one already right here. Serena's probably out of her mind again, but I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. Very true. All right, well, she's mumbling uh, her, her uh, slightly deranged statements in there, fine. This is The Dangers of Creation. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise, the written word, gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality, but so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. That's fair. You gotta be very, very, very careful with that stuff. Um, I don't think I can enter this building. No, but perhaps there's a radio, um, a radio in here? Or a TV? Nope, not allowed in there either. Alrighty then. Uh, Serena, do you wanna talk to me or are you still messed up? I think you're still messed up. You again? Yep, you're messed up. So I can get the power back on. You want to hold me down? It's okay. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. <laughs> I could be like your wife, little wifey, waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman or the neighbor. I'm already married to someone who isn't crazy, thanks. I'm just going to go and get the power back on. Aww. Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. I'll definitely come back, but just to get your unique dialogue. You should sit down or something. You should sit down or something. Try to stay calm. I don't want to be calm. I want to be nasty. I want to be nasty with you. Yeah. Okay. You could do anything you want. You can use my. Let's not even go there. Yeah, let's let's cut it off there. Yeah. But I guess that was too much to ask. Well, you can't blame her for that. She's under control right now, so, you know, I'm not gonna blame her or insult her. Uh. She can't control it. All right. I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about fate before. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions you'd care to share, uh, Ricky? Well, we've got free will, right? That's in the Bible and everything. Yeah, right, sure. So free will, right? <laughs> oh, right? yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, if we can do what we want, how can there be fate? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen next, so there's no fate. There's just people doing stuff. Well... I don't know, Ricky. I don't suppose you have considered the possibility that we're all here in the service of a greater purpose, incomprehensible to us, and that what we take to be freedom is nothing more than the move of a pawn on some cosmic chessboard. Limited in scope, subject to the whims of unseen players, existing only for their entertainment. Whose voice is that? Is that like the announcer for for Night Springs? That can happen elsewhere. Could it be that such is life in Night Springs? Um, dude, 
Wow. Yeah, that's Food that was the announcer. Huh. The Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'll be back to have a conversation with you. Don't mind me. Alrighty then. Hello. Oh, whoops. Huh. <laughs> nice. I aimed immediately at him, but no such luck on this occasion. Which is fine. That's okay. I think I can unlock this now, right? I hope I have enough, yeah. Sawed off shotgun. Tempting, but nothing beats being able to penetrate the darkness. Like, literally nothing. If I have to waste additional time, you know, flashing them, when I could just shoot them once and be done with it, I'm just gonna go for shooting them once and being done with it, so. Even if it only fires one shot at a time. As I mentioned before, the game's not actually that hard to warrant, you know, that type of uh, inco inconvenience. I kind of want to check the souvenir stand real quick. I guess I'll unlock the suitcase, or, um, oh, I already did it. Never mind. Wow, my, my memory has become short-term all of a sudden. It's like I just opened it, but oh well. Come on, Alan. Keep running. There has to be something up here, right? You would imagine. Well, yeah, sorta. This is where I got the crossbow the first time around, yes. I'll take that. Equilibrium. I have changed. I know who I am now. I know that I can write my own fate. Bright Falls taught me that. I know that indulging my weaknesses, giving in to fear and complacency, will only drag me down. The dark place taught me that. I'm no Zen master. I've not attained enlightenment. But I have learned to let go of the things that I don't need. I know that without that balance within, I become my own worst enemy. Now I strive for equilibrium, and with that, I'm strong enough to get where I want. Already. Um, hmm. Well, I suppose this is the way to go, since um, the power shed, I believe, is over there. I have to assume that if you did miss... Oh, we're doing this again, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, I just have to assume that if you do miss... Okay, I know, it's fine. Chill out. Uh... Oh boy! Dodge that! Okay. Goodbye. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I assume if you actually miss manuscript pages that they will stay, um, so you can pick them up later. I see there's one here and then there's another one behind me, so I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, so like, if you miss any, I assume they'll be in the same spot. There are definitely new ones, though. The doppelganger. It's obvious that for all his power, Mr. S is an agent of another greater being. The dark place he came from is full of terrible alien intelligences, dark presences, and none of them should be let loose in our world. He serves one of them. He'll open the way for them if I don't stop him. But he'll do more. He'll take over my life. He already has my face. He already uses my name. He'll become Alan Wake in every way imaginable and corrupt everything. Unless I can stop him. And stop him we will. Um, okay, so there's another page up here, somewhere around here. Yep. There it is. A car in flight. The car seemed to sail through the crisp mountain air in slow motion, spinning around one axis almost lazily. The moment was hypnotic. Then it struck the pipeline in a shower of sparks, the impact turning the windshield into a burst of safety glass. As it hit the ground, 
I snapped out of my reverie. The car was rolling downhill, slowing down as every bump killed momentum but still coming. The fence wouldn't be enough to stop it. Okay. Don't know when exactly that will be happening, but uh, sure, why not? I'll be going there eventually, so I'm not too worried about running over to that side at the moment. I see the TV screen. All right, let's watch Mr. Scratch. Oh. Uh. Is that the girl who died, or is that... I want to talk about Alice. Alice. Just look at her. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Your wife. Well, our wife, really. <laughs> Just my wife soon. Don't worry. I'm not going to treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. <sighs> so talented. You haven't seen her new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really, she's that good. <sighs> Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? We're that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know? I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my god, you're alive! I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. And then, one day, somehow, it'll happen. Maybe I'll slip up and she spots something, or maybe she just starts running her mouth. And then, I'll do it. It's going to be sweet. <sighs> My darling wife. Well, the good news is we do know that does not happen, uh, given the, you know, what's reported in the Control Alan Wake DLC, so. Uh, quite creepy, but fortunately does not come to pass, so... Let's do our very best in this game to prevent it from happening. Trying to remember where this leads. Right, this is like the big empty area um, that I have to run around in order to reach the actual power plant. Which is down there. I'm surprised, again, that there's no actual manuscript page out here. You'd imagine, all things considered, that there are would be one hidden around, but no, apparently not. Oh, there's... I assume that's a page there, on the ground. But you kind of really have to go out of your way to find it. Hello. Mr. Scratch's Trap. The trap Mr. Scratch has set for me is as simple as it is impossible. Whenever I reach him, he sends me back to the beginning of the maze. It's a loop in time. I go through it only to end up where I started. There's a brutal genius to it. If I die, it's over for me. If I survive, I end up where I started. Sooner or later, the odds will catch up with me. And in the meantime, he gets to toy with me. But that's why I have a chance. He's caught in this pattern just as much as I am. I know where he'll be, and I'm prepared. You are a worm through time. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, to the power plant I go, then. Uh, I don't fully remember which path to take. I ran past the cliffside, but if I jump down, it's going to be instant death, so maybe don't do that. Mm. I was going to say, oh, that's a stylish-looking car, but that's because the hood hadn't loaded in yet. It looked like a weird, like, sporty convertible or something. 
Okay, I just have to run around the slow way. I do want to see what's in that chest, though. So I assume I just took the wrong, the wrong turn, um, from here. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the, down the stairs. Thank you. I'm down to walk on this side. Other than some enemies, I don't expect to see much at the moment. Hello. You're like a little hamster in a wheel. Go ahead and keep running for all the good it'll do you. It'll do me some good. I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh oh. None of that, sir. How many of you are there? Quite a few, it turns out. Nope. Alright, time for the regular bullets. So the Magnum is pretty powerful. Um, it's equivalent to at least two shots. Because those little assassin dudes usually take two shots from the regular pistol. Assault rifle. Hmm. Almost tempting. But the special, the special uh, ability of this crossbow cannot be understated. And I've stated it like a million times already. Let me in. Thank you. Gonna do a quick run around, see if I can find any manuscript pages. Probably won't be able to. Is it spider time? Is it spoders? Oh, there's a page in there. So there's a page inside and Oh, another page outside then. Okay, good. I'm glad it came out this way then. Thank you. Where are you, bud? Survival in the Dark Place. The Dark Place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. But I've learned to take care of myself. I focus on Alice, our life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the Dark Place. As long as I have my gun and the flashlight. Fair enough. Not enjoying the sounds I'm hearing over here. Um. But yeah, okay, so I've run a full circle at this point. Uh, I'm just going to go around the other side again. Go back into the power plant area and then uh, grab the grab the manuscript page that's in there. I, I'm like stating out what I plan to do, but it just takes me forever to actually get there. Alright. Do I have to do this puzzle again? Not that it was difficult. I just overthought it. Uh, Serena Valdivia. For Serena Valdivia. Burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist. She often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. Fair enough. Run. Oh, spider time. I hear you. You cannot hide from me. Uh... I never use my flashbangs. I should consider doing that. Alright, so the answer to this is literally just this. Got it. Shouldn't the spiders die to the uh, arcing electricity as well? You'd imagine they would, right? Apparently not. Run! Run! 
None of that, sir. Whoa! I didn't even mean to dodge that one. Ow! Any others? Or are we clear? I guess we're sort of clear. Okay. Hello. Easy enough. Go! This'll do. Or it won't. Uh... Slightly trapped in here. Game. Okay. Um, it didn't send me too far back, so that's fine. I think what I'm gonna do this time, though, is I'm, I'm thinking I should just try to avoid the spiders. They're not excessively challenging, you know? I say avoid the spiders and I end up killing, like, all four of them anyway, but it's fine. Ow! That's fine. I can heal myself, it's okay. Actually, my health is regenerating a bit. It regenerated, like, almost all the way. Ow! Okay. The light goes away, which is okay. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, hello. Easy peasy. Okay, so, um... As long as I don't get a crash this time, I should be okay. This is the part where the game cooperates with me and doesn't, uh, doesn't crash. Alright. Now I can leave? Oh yeah. Hello? If you die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. <laughs> Sucker. Okay. Not too difficult. Let's go and talk to uh, Serena. I'm sure she has new dialogue this time. She probably does remember what happened last time, it's just that obviously every time we do this loop she falls under the spell again, so... It's not her fault, don't blame her for it. She can't control it. She's a victim of circumstance on this occasion. Oh. What now? Okay, fine. Dark Fountains. But, I want to actually talk to Serena, so... yeah. Goodbye. I love it. They can't even get past the, uh, the light at the front. Where is Serena in all this? She's in here, right? Can I talk to you, please? Oh! Wait, 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 let me turn the lights on. Where's the light switch? Oh, it's over here. Boop! It's I me. Guess you're back to normal again? I don't know if I'm ever gonna be normal, but thanks. I know you didn't have to come back for me like this. No, I did have I to do just it. Leave you like that. I'm sorry about the whole thing. I had to come back. Not your fault. At least I'm not Little Miss Horselot anymore. Ugh, that's just. Hey, thanks for not, you know, taking advantage. You're welcome. No problem. You don't seem too weirded out by this. You don't seem too weirded out, even though this is happening again. Honestly, that pales in comparison with having that thing inside my head. I mean, it's crazy, but... I understand. I can really mess you up. Plus, this is weird. I think what he did left something. 
I can feel that things are different. I just know that time's acting wrong. I don't know how to describe it. It's like I can sense it. Mm. I'm not surprised. A close encounter with these forces, it stays with you. It changes the way you see things. Some people can't deal with that. They just lose it. Well, it's early yet. I'm not ruling anything out. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna go to the projector booth now. I'm gonna go make my way into the projector booth. Okay. Is there anything I can do? About the situation, I mean? Not really. No. It's a trap for me. I'm gonna have to go deal with it. Uh-huh. And you got a plan, is that it? I think sort of. Chance. Yeah. Okay. The word she used to describe herself in that state was not a word I was expecting to hear in this. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to it. Dark fountain time. I should probably consider actually throwing a flashbang grenade, or, uh, grenade every now and then, huh? Alright. Oh, how'd I miss? Okay. The fact that it's a one shot is so good. Like, it even kills the big guys, like, in one shot. Alright. Next. Nice. Crap. No. Whoops. Whoa, you guys are close. Okay, so it actually takes out the other people, uh, other enemies that are around it too. I assume they're, they'll spawn infinitely until you actually take out the entire thing. Come on. Take it out and they'll die. Very nice. Can- oh, I, I've already been out there before. Alright, we're clear. Time to go. Honestly, after knowing what to do in each of these maps and having explored them all before, like, each- time we clear this map has been like half the speed or rather uh, double the speed half the time taken which is not a bad thing that and because you don't have to like learn all the passcodes and everything the champion again champion of light knows that the time itself is about to end at least for him he can feel the dead end rushing towards him but there is time to act incomplete or not he has the weapon i don't have the whole thing correct but maybe it's enough Turn the lamp, why? Oh, it's a little different. There was a film there was a film noir poster of visible. Uh which one did we just turn it to? I have no idea. Why did it act like that was it? A spotlight emu oh I see. This a spotlight illuminated the red fire extinguisher. That's done. I guess I'll have to use this um, printer again on a third run, possibly. I will turn this to the end of August. Nice. Late at night. There's the film noir. What do I have to do to make it visible? Oh, flip it. Oh, I guess that counts. Oh, it's an Alex Casey... Uh, Oh, it's an Alex Casey um, adaptation. Okay. It's not enough. <laughs> You're trying to be cute, aren't you? Are you 
up to. It's a waste of time, buddy. You should just lie down and die. Let me take over. This is the only thing you've got coming to you. From here to eternity. No matter how many times you come back. All right, round three then, I suppose. Time folds back on itself. Again, his senses scream as the very impossibility of what is happening assaults them. But the Champion of Light endures. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> Each time he gets a little closer, each time, another detail falls into place. Now, the trap works against the Herald of Darkness. Well, I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye